am back again, this time to talk about the Reading uh, Rush Challenge for 2020. Um, so I knew about this already, I just didn't realize when it was until I saw a post about it today <laughs> and I kind of scrambled and was like, you know what, I need some motivation, I need to do something other than just sit here and kind of read stuff and also binge watch like Avatar and NCIS. I need to do something else. So I'm going to take part in the uh, Reading Rush challenge next week. Um, I have picked out my books for this challenge. Um, so I figured I'll go over my TBR for it. And, uh, yeah, that's where we'll be. I'm gonna try to do the other videos, too. Um, I know that at least the big one, which is, like, a vlog, that one, I don't know when that's gonna go up. That probably won't go up by the end of next week or anything because, um, like I've probably said multiple times now, I don't know how to edit, like, anything. Um, so... My husband is going to help me with that because he he edits videos already, so uh, yeah, he's gonna teach me how to do that, so um, yeah, eventually that will be up. I don't know when, hopefully not too long after the, the challenge is over, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into the, the books that I have selected, and a couple of these are kind of doubling um, up because I still have a full-time job even though I'm I'm working from home um, and other responsibilities so this right here is ambitious enough for a week so okay let's get into it um, the first question or first requirement is a book with a cover that matches your birthstone um, I am November baby I wore my old class ring just to prove it is a topaz. And for this, I actually picked a book. So a couple of these I picked are books that I've already started, but I honestly, they are both books that, as you can see, I'm not that far into them at all. Um, but anyway, for this, I have chosen an RNG book. It is the Sea of Monsters, the second in the Percy Jackson the Olympian series. Um, I'm currently trying to reread this so I can uh, finally read the Heroes of Olympus series, which I just um, got recently. So, yeah, this is book uh, one. First stone, one. Uh, second is a book that starts with the letter the which of course this could probably count as but to be fair i also chose the reader by tracy chi this as you can see i am in it but not that far um i don't know if that's cheating or whatever but you know what we're we're all loosey-goosey so it's fine um yeah this is a, a little bit more of a chunky one but um yeah Hopefully I'll be able to finish that this week. Uh, number three is read a book that inspired a movie you have seen. So this one is maybe on the line because I have not seen the movie as of yet, but I have wanted to watch the movie for a while now. And I actually plan on watching it in the next couple of days before the reading challenge begins. So I will have seen it and it counts but um the book i have picked is black klansman this is by ron stallworth i probably mentioned it in another video um it is the true account of his time as the first uh black colorado springs police detective and um when he managed to launch an undercover investigation into activities by the local KKK um, using a uh, white uh, detective as his partner to actually meet face to face with them. Um, yeah, 
it sounds pretty good. The movie looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to watch that this weekend. Um, I might talk in another video about how that went, um, if I enjoyed it or whatever. And then I will be ready to start this next week. So, um, let's see. Yes. Number four is the first book you touched. Um, so for this one, this actually counts for two. Actually, this one also counts for two, but, um, the one that I picked for this and how I did it was basically I just stood in front of my um, TBR shelf and just kind of whammed my hand <laughs> somewhere in the general center of my bookshelf, which kind of hurt. Um, but the book that most of my hand was on when <laughs> I slammed it into said <laughs> center of bookshelf was uh the graveyard book by neil gaiman um i kind of flipped through the first pages and managed to see that it is also um a book that takes place on a different continent because it looks like it takes place over in england so yay another continent so this counts for like i said both the first book i touched as well as the um seventh challenge which is a book that takes place on a different continent um the fifth challenge is a book that you read completely outside of your house um as of right now just because of where i do live um that is set kind of further back from uh the road and people and stuff like that i probably could sit outside in my yard and read a book um, the only problem is I am right next to a major, um, park thing. And, uh, unfortunately a lot of people don't understand private property and they keep coming like close to my actual house. Um, so actually being outside for long periods of time to finish a book is kind of iffy right now. Um... I've come up with two possible solutions. Uh, one is that I drive down um, to the beach and sit in my car with the windows cracked and read there. Um, so that's possibility number one. Uh, possibility number two is that I could just hack it like I've seen suggestions already on the website. Um, just kind of sitting next to an open window and having like outside sounds on and stuff like that. So I might do that instead. I don't know. It depends on um, how much time I have uh, next week uh, in between reading and the challenges and, and everything else that's going on and um, what the weather's like because I've been hearing mixed things about the weather too, so I, I don't know. So uh, for that, I either might not do the challenge or honestly... It's going to, I'm going to count like any one of these books for that. Just any one that I managed to finish while in that zone is going to count for it. And then the sixth challenge is a book in a genre you want to read more of. Now, um, this book could count as that because the genre that I want to read more of and one that I've recently purchased a lot of books in is nonfiction. Um, I'd really like to kind of expand that, especially um, nonfiction memoirs. And so that counts. Um, but I also picked as an extra book that I really want to read, um, All Boys Aren't Blue. And this is by George M. Johnson. It is a memoir manifesto. And uh, yeah, I would really like to get to this too. So those are my books for the Reading Rush Challenge. Um, I hope that I can get to all of them. It's going to be a lot in between um, trying to also do um, the other videos and I also um, am going to try to do the Instagram challenges and everything as well. Um, I just made a Instagram for this uh, channel basically and I have put the link 
somewhere. I'll try to remember to put it in the description box below, but it should be in my about section um, on my profile if you see that. And uh, yeah, I hope that it'll be fun. This week is gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, I hope that if you are participating, you have fun and you have uh, good luck reaching your goals. And um, I will see you next time with another video. Bye.